poster was actually a warning call, a warning call to society that if you engage in a wretched, toxic no. immigration debate... No, what it was, then, it was a racist poster on it, it of its own because just no, to, depict, depict, to depict a white race as a, a, a skinhead, we all know what you were talking about there. Let me, let me just say, let me just say, and let's be clear, let's be clear about this. Because, you know, you're making accusations, and I, and I as the director who commissioned this poster... Yeah, wanted and you should be ashamed say, of yourself for doing wanted, it. Wanted to, ...wanted to say that there is a tiny minority. That poster of that individual was not, was not a depiction of the average white person. It clearly wasn't. That, that, that's what most me, people took it to be. Let me finish. Well, they were wrong, and I'm, and I'm telling you, from the source, they're wrong. We made a caricature... We made a caricature of a minority of hateful individuals. And actually, that has been borne out to be the truth and worse. The vast, let me finish, Ian. The vast majority of Londoners, the vast majority of white British people are wonderful, tolerant people. There is a minority, and that minority has risen that has been truly hateful. We wanted to stop it. We couldn't. We, we are where we are now, and it's not a nice well, place ju to be. Just, Im just imagine that some organisation had made an equivalent poster depicting uh, all Muslims as a suicide bomber. Well, you keep saying all Muslims, and I keep telling you, we depicted a tiny, minuscule mm. minority, and that minuscule minority well, has, has been... As, let me in finish, in your mind, you did, but that's not how most well, people took no. it. But, but where does that character look like, the average person on London streets? Where? You tell me, Ian. Well, what, why would you put somebody like that on that because poster? Because it's a caricature mm. of a horrid individual. Well, people can reform their own judgments.